I am going to speak on Holy Mother. At Bishnupur, that is our hometown, that is my hometown at the time, she was staying in an inn on the porch. And we, two of us, two friends, were going out for a walk and our, I was only then 14 or 15 years old, and there was Radhu, her niece, uh, holding one of the pillars. Then we saw a holy man seated, and around him there were, surrounded by him, there were many women seated there. So as both of us were going for a walk, we criticized this holy man. Look at the holy man surrounded by women. And as a result, what happened to me, see? <laughs> <laughs> then we came back from our walk. It was a little dark. And this young man was to go in one direction to his own home, and I was to go in another direction to my home. But something drew me back, and I, I bowed down to this holy man, and he says, he said, Will you see Holy Mother? I got excited. I said, Holy Mother, you mean Paramahamsa's wife? Yes. Then she was right there. And so I touched her toes. You see, we do that with our fingers. And she kissed me like a like our mother's kiss, uh, take the fingers in our, our fingers here on the chin, and then she puts it on her lips. And then she said, Son, haven't I seen you before? I said, No, mother, I have not seen you. But of course, Mothers recognize uh, their children, but children, unfortunately, do not recognize the mother, who is the mother of the universe. Dear children of the Divine Mother, I do take this courage to address you as her children because she is the divine and the whole world is her child. Each and every manifest being with life, without life, animate, inanimate, plant life or animal life, they are all her children. This is what she is. So in our traditional way of interpreting the scriptures, the conclusion is told right in the beginning, the whole truth and nothing else but the <laughs> truth on your face. And then, Slowly and slowly, it starts from the bottom and it builds itself up till you are rationally convinced, till you are, through your common sense, you are satisfied that what has been mentioned in the hypothesis is true. It really follows the same method of the present-day process of education 
remember our school going days. I'll give you an example from the classes that we attended. In the geometry classes, you come to the classroom and I, you find the whole blackboard is written up by the professor. What is it? Today we have to study theorem number 13. And what does it let's say? Two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. So the truth is being told you on your very face. Whether you understand or not is immaterial. Two sides of a triangle is greater than the third. Third side. Similarly, in our scriptures, the Divine Mother Sri Sharada Devi or the Holy Mother Sri Sharada Devi. Who is she? That is the subject matter. <coughs> the conclusion has been sung just now. She is the Divine Mother of the universe. তারপরে বলো মা মা কেমন আছেন মা কেমন আছেন আপনি বলবেন আমি শুনবো ও বাবা মা মন্ত্র দিয়েছেন মা আপনাদের স্পর্শ করেছেন তবে আর মাকে বলবেন আমাদের তো জ্ঞান ভক্তি নেই কি করে যেতে হয় একটু বুঝলেন মাকে বলতে হয় না কোথায় না কেমন গেলেন কেমন দেখলেন আমার বাবার দেশে দুটি ছেলে আমার বাবার দেশে দুটি ছেলে আমাদের পড়াতেন আমার দিদিকে আমার গার্জন আর আমার দাদাকে আরেকজন তখন সবে উদ্বোধন বেরোচ্ছি তো উদ্বোধন থেকে ওই মা সব পড়া আমাদের দিয়ে যেতেন আমি পড়তাম মুখস্থ করতাম মারান করতাম আবার মা সমস্যা এসে খুব বড় ছিলাম না তারও শুনতে খুব ভালো লাগতো আর বলতে বলতে যদি কেউ আসতো চুপ করে যেতেন তার সঙ্গে জল পড়তো খুব আনন্দিত হলেন হ্যাঁ আমি কি করে আপনাকে বোঝাবো আমি আপনাকেও তো আমি বোঝাতে পারবো না তাই দেখতাম তো এটা আর কি করে আমি বলবো আমাকে যে দেখুন আমি কি করে বোঝাবো এইরকম দেখেছি মাকে এইরকম লেগেছি আর মারা গেলে পরে এইরকম কাছে বসাটা মায়ের মার কাছে বসে 
पायल बुढ़ावन की ढोड़े बोए था अभी अच्छा मार साइड वो डोडने बैठे सीढ़ी दिए उठे बाँधी गया खाना खा रहा थे अतः दयाल आल मरी आज शेर करने बहुत एक्टिव में पांच साल से अतः दयाल आल मरी जीनी शॉट उठा तो ऐसे आर माय रंग बहुत साथ में हमें ये मार साइड बोल अच्छा अने एक शोभा को करा निश्चय निश्चय बहुत शोभा को करा महाराजिस मारा अमी बोझा तो बातम ना अमी बोझा तो बातम ना जब मैं क्या ना कांच अमी निजी बोझ तो बातम ना एम निजी अच्छा 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 कोई जो कोई जोर पड़ता है अब अमी मना होता है जब देख तो पढ़ी तो बार चुरे जाते हैं हवे हाँ हाथ तो मार के देख तो बाबू ना उन तक को कोशिश माता के ताके 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 देख से माँ चुप कर ढाके हमें बात माँ हमें तो आज देख तो आओ ना माँ एक तो किसी बारे माँ में क्यों कर तो आज देख वो बाबा महाराज खूब बहुत शानी माँ क्या नहीं यार मन हो तो माँ यार तो माँ बोल रहे हैं कि चल बोल ला माँ देख तो आओ Mm. While I while she would be coming to Calcutta, uh, once a week they would allow men to come and touch the toes of her toe, touch her toes, and she would remain veiled. And so I used to go and touch the toes. And I used to go because I'd get wonderful sensation, like an electric shock every time I touched. And then later I learned that that way she transmitted spiritual power. But I didn't know. But just for that sensation, because afterwards I'd feel a soothing influence in my whole body. And she used to come and live in Calcutta for six months, as a general rule, and then go to go back to Jairambati for six months. One time. Another friend of mine, I used to call him Porish. Porish and I together came to Bishnupur. In our home, we stayed, and then we hired a bullock cart. And then in the morning, or it was rather late that we arrived. And she told her attendant, Rash Bihari, and from him we learned that Holy Mother told him that two of Rakal's sons are coming. Keep some food, save some food for them. We did not write to her anything. Not there was any telephone, but she knew. And then, like a mother, she served us food on a leaf on leaf plates, and she sat by us and asked us if we like this food, just as our mother does. 
if we like this, then should give more. So that way she fed us. And I remember, still now, that I have never eaten such food in my life. It was like nectar. I still remember that. When we left her, she stood by the door and kissed us. And as far as we could, she could see, she kept on looking at us. This was the custom that she had with everybody that used to go to her. While we were students in Calcutta, uh, they gave word to us that Mother will be coming to Belun Mott and they need volunteers. So many of our college boys went and we stood in rows at the Belun Mott and then Holy Mother was carried in palanquin up to the gate and then they had the chair prepared for her and four disciples of Sri Ramakrishna, Maharaj Swami Brahmananda, Swami Saradananda, Swami Premananda and Swami Shivananda, they carried her. And then uh, Maharaj gave order that nobody should bow down before Maharaj at the, before Mother at that time. But we saw Khoka Maharaj, Swami Subhadananda, he just rolled on the ground. <laughs> and then Maharaj said, Who is that? Who is that? Then, of course, Kokamaraj in the meantime disappeared. And so she was carried by these four Swamis upstairs to the shrine room. And of course, I believe she was worshipped at that time by these disciples. It is Akinananda who introduced me to Shami Brahmananda, whom I met in Balram Bosch's house in Calcutta. We used to go together to pay our respects to Swami Brahmananda Ji Maharaj. One evening, Maharaj was not in Balram Bosch's house. He went to see a, a devotee in in downtown Calcutta. We waited for some time. Maharaj did not return. Then we came to know that he would take his supper in the devotee's house and would be coming late. Some devotees who were in Balram Bush's house asked me that Holy Mother has come from Jairambati. Do you like to see him, see her? I asked Akhilananda whether he would like to see. He said he had some engagement with the senior Swami. He could not go. I went with the devotees to Balram Bush's, uh, to Udbodhan. Uh, the distance from Balram Bush's house to Udbodhan house would be oh, less than a mile. Ten minutes walk. Then I was seated with me in the office room, manager's office. Shami Dhirananda asked me this question. <coughs> well, I have seen you in Balram Bush's house many times. Who will take your responsibility? I was a student of philosophy, Western philosophy. I was a rugged individualist, like a, an American boy. <laughs> uh, 
So I said to him, move on. I will take my responsibility. Why should another person take my responsibility? Then he said, they were, they were a child in spiritual life. Suppose you go to a cave temple, a temple which is very dark. You will bump your head at every step. But if there is somebody who takes a torch like you do a torch, but you may use your flashlight. If a person holds a flashlight and shows you the way, you will be able to see the deity without any trouble and difficulty. Similarly, in spiritual life, it is necessary to have a torch bear. Then I said to him, if I need, and that there should be a torch bearer, I will ask Maharaj. I am Brahmanandi Maharaj. Then he said, it is difficult to get initiation from Maharaj. Uh, uh, you will have to wait for some years. But Holy Mother is very kind. Why don't you ask Holy Mother to be initiated? Now, uh, uh, a brahmachari came. It was a darshan day. You will not understand what is called a darshan day. Darshan day means a, a, a day when one goes to the temple to see the deity at a particular hour. So darshan day here is that Holy Mother used to give darshan to men devotees on Tuesdays and Saturdays before Vesper time, before evening Vesper time. I am not sure whether it was a Tuesday or a Saturday, perhaps it was a Saturday. Whatever it may be, himself. Then I followed the, the Brahmachari, there, there, there was a, a, a tremendous crowd, a, a crowd. Just like you see, if you can say, but, uh, I would say a ball game. And you want to buy a ticket, World Series ticket. Yeah. It, 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 you have to wait for, for a good length of time. Similarly, there are lots of people who are there. And so the <coughs> Brahmachari said to us that you must not say a single word. We will simply bow down to the mother and go by one staircase in front of Golapma's house. Golapma's room and come by another stage case, which is close next to Swami Sharanadi's room. So I, I went, I saw Mother, Mother, the veil, then came down and sat again in the same office room. Then Swami Thiranandu asked me, Did you request Holy Mother to initiate you? I said, uh, Maharaj, I was not allowed to speak. Because the Brahmachari <coughs> said to us, to all of us, who, who would pay respects to Holy Mother, that you should not say a single word, but touch her feet. And come down. Then he called the Rajbihari, Rajbihari. Rajbihari is Swami Aruparanda. Aruparanda. Uh, Rajbihari Maharaj served Holy Mother. He would come to Calcutta. As, uh, I mean, Parameshwar Nanda would serve Holy Mother when he would be in Jairambani. Rajbari, Rajbari, he would take this power again and tell Mother that he goes to Maharaj. That's Swami Brahman, he knows Maharaj. And Mother, mother should initiate him. And he had a little, uh, uh, Swami Dhirananda had a little, I can say, a Brahminical favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a Brahmin boy. And an intelligent boy and this and that and so forth. So I went and Rajbari Mahara spoke on behalf of me. So, then Mother said, Why Rakhal can be initiation? Rakhali could be the Means in those days, Swami Shivananda was not giving initiation. Swami Sharanda also was not. Swami Sharanda, when he came to the West, he might have given. But after he returned, 
to India, Swami Vivekananda uh, entered Mahasamadhi only two persons in our order. Maharaj Shavit was the president of the order and Holy Mother. The Rakhal, Rakhal means Shavit, Brahmananda, yeah, because he is white. Topic that took him initiation. Now I, I, I was not prepared really Dave. when I came from my from my dormitory. I did not think of that idea that I would go to mother and ask for initiation. It is Swami Dhirananda. Dhirananda gave that idea to me. But anyway, Dave, somehow or other, this I the thought came to my mind, and I said. Mother, if you initiate me, I will consider it a God sent thing. I'm a Mahashobhaka. I mean, it will be good fortune for me. Then Mother said, Come. He, he, he kept quiet a little. Then, oh, after two days, there is a very auspicious day. Very auspicious day. You don't take any breakfast, take your bath in the Ganges. And uh, in, in the morning, in the morning, I went to the Ganges and come, I don't remember, probably about 8 o'clock, uh, you, you come uh, to, to Bodhan and uh, be seated in the, in the office room, then I will perform worship, Thakur's worship, I will perform Thakur's worship and I will call you. So I came down. Uh, it, it, it was not giving any kind of or, or thrill or, or ecstasy to me, but I found the face of Shami Hiranandha uh, was lit with a smile. He was very pleased. So then I came to uh, Balram Bush's house and reported everything to Shami Hiranandha. Then I said, I do not know what it means to, what, what is initiation, what am I to, am I expected to do? Uh, he said, oh, oh, uh, I will tell you everything. Because Swami Afilanda was initiated by uh, Maharaj. Uh, when uh, we go to our dormitory, I will tell you. So we waited for some time, Maharaj did not come. Then we had to go to the Christian college. You, 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 uh, study period is very important, you must come study period. You may get a leave, uh, uh, a leave for one hour or two hours, but not during the study period. And they used to find, you see, their, their way, uh, uh, my way is scolding, but their way is fine. So anyway, we had to come back to our dormitory. But uh, I have learned uh, discipline from them so, and, and study became very serious to us. So, so anyway, uh, then Akhiraranda said that uh, we'll have to buy, I, I, uh, I will go with you, we'll have to buy from the college state market uh, some fruits, uh, some flowers and so on and so forth. So the previous evening I remember we go, went together together to college street market, bought flowers, fruits, uh, some sweets, and then I think one cloth also. We should, we should buy a cloth. My mother used to take a uh, cloth, red border cloth. So what about, what a red border. And so you also should give some dakshin. Because you, you can uh, 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 give. So that uh, means uh, as a, some of the service of Thakur. So on the appointed day, both of us um, came by they call street car or, or tram. They call. So we came to Bad Bazaar by street car and took our bath and and uh, both of us waited. Then mother called out to a brahmachari. I went upstairs. But the previous night, I could not sleep for a long time. I have heard, I heard, I heard from Shami Afilananda who, who said, to, uh, who said to me that you must not suggest 
the, your ishta, your chosen idea. You should not say, I like Krishna or I like Shiva. You see, in Indian tradition, some would like Krishna, some would like Shiva, some would like Divine Mother. So you should not suggest anything. Just like when you go to a doctor, you do not say, you do not, uh, don't say, a doctor, you should give me penicillin. Yeah, like, no, no suggestion, you keep quiet. And whatever mantra, it is called the mantra, it is the mantra. Whatever mantra mother gives, you should give. You should accept. Implicitly. Uh, but I could not do that. I had a particular way of, of, of meditating on, on a particular form of meditation. So for a long time I was thinking that if mother says that uh, your, your wisdom is, is this aspect of God, say fatherhood of God, uh, I, or motherhood of God. I would say mother, I would like this aspect. <laughs> I can't uh, uh, accept uh, 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 whatever will be given to me like that. For a long time this kind of doubt came to my mind. But anyway, after I went to sleep. But we, mother asked me a few questions. And then, <coughs> when she, as she gave me the particular aspect of the deity, she pointed out also what uh, the mantra. It rang a bell in my heart. It is that aspect that was very appealing to me. Then I said, Mother, no. <laughs> Mother knows my mind or something. But I, to tell you the truth, uh, I, I um, did not think the Holy Mother was Divine Mother. I thought that she was a saintly lady. Um, very kind, very compassionate, very motherly, but she was the divine mother herself. That idea did not come. The how did it come? It came from when I served Swami Shardam. Swami Shardam, and though when he, he would give instruction to his students, to his disciples, he would dictate to me, I would write. Then he would sign. Shobhanu Thai. Sri Sharadananda. He will say, he will write, he will write, Sri Sharadananda, that is his. Uh, so he would give some kind of method. He would, he would first, the first step, second step, third step, fourth step, like that. Like that. At the end, you, 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 you have self surrender and do the all sorts of things. You see. Yeah. So one day, I said to Sri Sharadananda that he would give detailed instruction, methodical instruction. But Holy Mother did not give me. He did not even, she did not even ask me to uh, uh, repeat 108 times in the morning or in the evening. So would you kindly uh, add something to what Holy Mother has given me? He has given me only mantra, but I want a method, a procedure. Then Shami Sharada told him, you are the greatest fool. Holy Mother is the Divine Mother herself. Whatever she has given is the last word of spiritual life. You repeat the mantra and have faith in her and you will be able to achieve everything in course of time. When you are ready, your longing is deep and profound. Mother will satisfy your, your heart's desire. That is the, the book I have written. The book. I have seen her face. I have heard her words. I have touched her feet. Now I seek a grace with all the longing of my heart. With loving arms you tenderly embrace those who sought your love. With soothing voice you spoke to those who came near for comfort's sake. You welcomed all with open arms and made them your very own and never turned away all weary soul from your open door. What a blessing to have seen your face. What a blessing to receive your grace If only we had known you Holy Mother Holy Mother 